Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Bible Talks with Jasmine and Mitch. Today, we're doing a deep dive into the Gospel of Matthew. And when I say deep, I mean deep. We're going to talk about Jesus' life, his teachings, and some pretty amazing miracles. And to help us break it all down, we've got our Bible expert, Mitch. Welcome back, Mitch. Hi, Jasmine. Hi, everyone. I'm excited to talk more about Matthew. There's so much to learn about Jesus in this book. Great. So let's start from the very beginning. Mitch, what happens first in the Gospel of Matthew? Okay, so Matthew starts with something really important. It tells us about Jesus' family tree, or genealogy. Matthew shows that Jesus is part of King David's family which was a really big deal because God promised long ago that the Saviour, or Messiah, would come from David's family. It's like Jesus is the person everyone's been waiting for. Wow, so Jesus has a royal family history. That's cool. And then he's born, right? Exactly. The story of Jesus' birth in Matthew is really special. Jesus was born to Mary and Joseph in Bethlehem. But remember, Jesus wasn't just any baby, he was born to save the world. When he was born, some really wise men, also called the Magi, came from far away to bring him gifts. They brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh, kind of like royal presents for a king. So Jesus was already getting fancy presents as a baby? Yep. But there was danger too. King Herod, the ruler at the time, heard about Jesus and got really jealous because people were saying Jesus would be a new king. Herod wanted to stop him, so Jesus' family had to escape to Egypt for a while until it was safe. Wow, even as a baby, Jesus was already so important that a king felt threatened by him. Okay, so Jesus grows up safely, right? What happens next? Yes, he grows up, and when he's about 30 years old, he starts his ministry. That means he starts teaching people about God and doing miracles. But before all that, something really important happens. Jesus gets baptized by a guy named John the Baptist. Why did Jesus get baptized? I thought baptism was for washing away sins, but Jesus didn't do anything wrong. Great question, Jasmine. Jesus didn't need to be baptized because of sin, but he did it to set an example for us. It also showed that he was ready to start his mission to save people. And when Jesus was baptized, something amazing happened. The heavens opened, and God spoke, saying, This is my son, whom I love, with him I am well pleased. It was like God was announcing to the world that Jesus was his son. One. That's like God giving Jesus a big thumbs up from the sky. Exactly. So after he's baptized, what does Jesus do? Jesus starts traveling around, teaching people about God's kingdom and healing the sick. One of the most famous moments in the Gospel of Matthew is the Sermon on the Mount. It's a big speech where Jesus tells people how to live if they want to follow him. Oh, I've heard about that. It's where he says things like, blessed are the peacemakers and blessed are the poor in spirit, right? Exactly. Those are called the Beatitudes, and they are a huge part of Jesus' teaching. He's saying that people who are kind, humble, and merciful are the ones who are really blessed by God, even if the world doesn't always see it that way. So Jesus is flipping the way we usually think about being important. It's not about being rich or powerful, it's about being loving and kind. That's right. Jesus is teaching people that God cares more about what's in your heart than what you have. What about the miracles? I know Jesus did some pretty amazing things in Matthew. Oh yeah. Jesus did tons of miracles in Matthew. He healed people who were sick, made blind people see again, and even calmed a storm when his disciples were scared. Imagine being in a boat during a huge storm, and Jesus just says, be still, and the storm stops. That's how powerful he is. One. Jesus must have had his friends totally amazed all the time. Definitely. And another cool thing Jesus did was tell parables. Parables are short stories that have a special message. In Matthew, 
Jesus tells parables like the parable of the sower, where he talks about a farmer planting seeds, and how the seeds are like the word of God being planted in people's hearts. Some seeds grow, and some don't, depending on how people receive God's message. So it's like, if we have an open heart and listen to God, we can grow like the good seeds, right? Exactly. Jesus used these simple stories to teach big lessons about faith and how to live. Okay, so now we get to the part where Jesus saves the world. What happens toward the end of Matthew? This is the most important part of the story, Jasmine. Jesus knew he was going to have to die to take away the sins of the world. So, even though he didn't do anything wrong, he was arrested and put on trial. The leaders at the time didn't like that Jesus was claiming to be the Son of God, so they decided to have him crucified, which means he was nailed to a cross. That must have been so sad for his friends and followers. It was. But here's the incredible part. Three days after Jesus died, he came back to life. This is called the resurrection, and it proves that Jesus is stronger than death. He appeared to his friends, the disciples, and told them to go tell the whole world about him. That's how the message of Jesus spread everywhere. So even though he died, he didn't stay dead. Jesus is alive forever. That's right, Jasmine. And because of Jesus' death and resurrection, everyone who believes in him can be forgiven and have eternal life with God. Wow, that's an amazing story. So to sum up, in Matthew, we learn about Jesus' birth, how he taught people to love God and each other, all the miracles he did, and how he saved us by dying and coming back to life. You got it, Jasmine. The Gospel of Matthew shows us how much God loves us and how Jesus is the King who came to save everyone. Thanks, Mitch. This was so fun. And thanks to everyone at home for joining us. Don't forget to read the Gospel of Matthew with your family and see all the amazing things Jesus did. We'll see you next time on Bible Talks with Jasmine and Mitch.